And yes, I am going to put these on my eyeballs today. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, hi. My name's Leanne and I am so thankful that you clicked on my thumbnail to see what my channel is all about. And it would mean the absolute world to me if at the end, and you like me, you might want to subscribe. So I'm very excited about today's video because I've had this palette for a little while but I've had so many other videos to film that I have not gotten the opportunity to film this. I have played with it and you will figure out my thoughts very soon on it but I'm talking about the Pure Celebrate Your Selfie Sweet 16 Anniversary Palette. I talked about my, this, this palette, not my palette, well it is my palette now but I talked about this palette in my Will I Buy It that I did maybe about a month and a half to two months ago. Recently on Ulta, it was on sale for half price, which is when I absolutely scooped it up. Currently, it is on the website for $59, but keep an eye on it because I do have a feeling that it will go on sale. I have a lot of pure products, pure cosmetics. They can be hit or miss, but honestly, I find the quality of their products really worthwhile. I have a lot of them. Some of them I've gotten in some of my subscription boxes, but a lot of their stuff I have bought and I bought from my mom, and my mom really likes them too. So let's just talk about the packaging of this box, which is absolutely spectacular. The confetti on the outside of the box is raised and sparkly. You do have the clear window where you can see the shadows inside. On the back of the box, they are giving you all of the colors and the names so you do not have to struggle. I don't remember if the names are inside, but if you wanted to refer to the back of the box, you get to see them and you do not have to struggle and try to figure out what the names are. Pure Cosmetics is a cruelty-free company. They say that they don't want bunnies to be their models. They like humans to be their models, which is really cute. Uh, their products are a paraben-free and gluten-free as well for those of you who uh, have that concern. Let's open up the packaging and take a look at the palette. Yes, it is bulky packaging, but this is more of a collector's item, I think. And I don't mind having the bulky packaging because it's stunning. Look at the sparkly confetti, whoopsies, this just pops right open, that they have in there inside the lid. Obviously it's sealed so it's not going to get everywhere. You do have two drawers on either side which contain additional products. First we're going to talk about the eyeshadows. The lid pops up here so it will stand up if you want to place it. Obviously you can't bend it backwards, but you can place it. It doesn't have a mirror. That does not bother me. Inside the shadows that you are getting, it is in the shape of a 16, which is absolutely adorable. You are getting three shadows in here of a formula that I had not tried from Pure until I bought this palette. They are full-on glitters, which you absolutely need a glitter glue to apply. I did try them without glitter glue so I could get a good judge of what you needed and I can tell you that you do but I can also tell you that the others are spectacular. This one is a very shimmery shadow. I wouldn't call it a full-on glitter because you do not need the glitter glue to apply it. The rest of the shadows you have a mix of satins and shimmers all of which are absolutely stunning. They feel soft. This black is miraculous. I absolutely love it when a black shadow goes on and has that pigment, but it also has that soft texture and it's not dry and crumbly. I don't know if I mentioned, but each of the shadows is 1.3 grams. I have the memory like a sieve and I can't remember whether I just mentioned it or not. I am going to do a swatch of all of these for you. I have on, by the way, it's so nice and cool and full outside. Thank you. Thank you. I'm wearing my favorite fuzzy sweatshirt that I could not wait to break out. It was sitting there staring at me and begged for me to take it out and wear it. So I am. I can't roll this up too far, but when I do the swatches, you will be able to see. And yes, I was correct, they do actually have the names on the palette, but because they're written in white and the background is gold, sometimes they're a little difficult to see, especially if you're like me and you can't see a darn thing without your glasses. When you pull out the first drawer on the side, it's two blushes and a highlight. On the other side, 
nicely contained in a plastic. You are getting a lip gloss. You're getting a pair of eyelashes. I haven't tried pure eyelashes. And yes, I am going to put these on my eyeballs today. Prepare to laugh. And then you're getting mascara. The only thing I'm not going to try in today is the mascara because you know how I feel about opening too much product because I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm going to wear a different mascara. But I haven't, I have not tried this one, but I have tried two other pure mascaras, which I did like. They weren't uh, blow your mind mascaras, but I did like them. So here are some shadows starting with the one. These are all the shadows in the shape of the one. First you have Passionate, which is a flickering gold shimmer. The next one you have is Shook, which is a red punch glitter. Absolutely. Next we have Inspired, which is a French rose glitter. And this one is multi, multi colored. This one is called Extra and it is a gold glitter. And then we have Motivated, which is your shimmer silver. To me, it's more sparkly than a shimmer, but it definitely goes on like a shimmer. And I will tell you that I did not apply any glitter glue to my arm for those uh, glitter eyeshadows. And of course, on my arm, they adhered because we have I have moisturizer on my arm, so you can see how they lay. Next up, we have Pure, which is a powder rose matte. Of course, it's hard to see because Hair's in the way here. It matches my skin tone. Next we have Devoted, which is a champagne pop shimmer. Glamorous is this a gorgeous lavender shimmer and so freaking soft. Fulfilled they call a burnt orange and it is one of the mattes in the shadow. And then you have Emotional, which is a rose shimmer, which is also extremely buttery soft. Continuing on, we have Excited AF, which is a plum matte. We have Confident which they refer to as a hickory shimmer. Interesting name. It's just black and it's beautiful. Then we have hangry, which is a beige matte. And I didn't say that incorrect. It actually says it's hangry. Loved is a dusty rose matte. Hyped is your maroon matte. And this has this texture. It's a little on the dry side, but it is so freaking pigmented. In one swipe, it goes on like this. And then 110% is your raspberry shimmer. So you do get enough mattes for you to have a transition and shadows to lay on your lid if you do not want to use the glitter shadows. I've created multiple looks with this and I have used every color in the palette. As far as the blushes and the highlighter, when I looked closer on the packaging, it says highlighter bronzer, but on um, the Ulta website, they're saying two blushes. So the two blushes that you are getting is Snatched, which is a watermelon red, rather watermelon matte, and then you're getting blush, which um, is flirty and is a burnt peach matte. Both of these colors I've worn and they are pigmented, so you need, do need a light hand. Not like the other Pure palette that I just tried on, but they're beautiful. And then you have the highlighter, which has a very peachy undertone, which I think both light and medium to dark skin tones can wear and get away with. One thing I wanted to note about the palette, they are giving only a six month shelf life for the shadows, which I thought was interesting. That is not a long time. I always keep my shadows and use them much longer than that, but that may be something that is important to you that you want to keep an eye out for. I always use my shadows until I detect something is wrong with them. Now let's get to creating a look, shall we? I am just going to tuck my hair behind my ears so it doesn't get in my way and it doesn't get in your way. I obviously have foundation, powder, etc. on. Other than that, I have nothing else on. Brought my color switch with me. First thing I am going to do is I'm going to take pure and run that all over my lid and brow bone. Next I'm going to take loved and use that as my transition.
I sometimes really wish I had a quiet place to film and I still wish for that but honestly I have to accept what it is because one day the people who create the noise will no longer be in my life and I'll probably wish that I did hear that noise and could hear it again. So I take it as it comes. I try to disguise it guys. I really do my best for you but if the noise in the TV always bothers you in the background I'm really sorry but it is what it is. I'm gonna go dramatic in my crease and I'm going to be using what are you? This one's called Hyped and I'm just gonna go really bright in my crease because I'm gonna be having some fun with glitter today. By the way, I'm using my M Morphe M330. Absolutely no affiliate. I'm gonna take my wet and no real techniques brush and I need to buff some of this out. The colors do not muddy together and they don't blend away. Pigment and the blendability of these is all there for sure. I'm going to put Excited AF all over my lid. With a smaller brush, I'm going to take 110%. Now honestly, if you just wanted maybe not so bold of a look, you could totally wear this. Maybe put one of these highlighters in your corner, maybe deepen it up, which I am going to do as a matter of fact, with Hangry. And then you could add some liner and mascara and walk out the door. I'm not that simple. So I added Hangry and the little bit, I mean the littlest amount of a Confident because it is so pigmented and I just added that just to deepen up the corner. Now I'm just going to apply some glitter glue so I can go in with those, <laughs> those glitters. I like the NYX glitter glue. I just find it great. I haven't tried the pure uh, glitter glue so I can't speak on that one. I just use about that amount and I tap on. I'm going with my finger in the color Inspired. This is just a multi, multi color glitter. It's gorgeous. Take a look at that. Now I can tell you this, I wore this to work. Yes, yes, I did wear it to work. I got a lot of compliments that day. I did not have glitter fallout on my face and I was working. I wore it for about 10 hours. The only time I had glitter on my face is when I accidentally went like this towards the end of the evening. I was like, oopsies, okay. For my inner corner highlight, I am gonna go into Passionate, which is the top of the one. And you don't even need to wet your brush. That is a bit gold, so I'm gonna go into Devoted and just add a little bit of this as well. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Pure and go on my brow bone. So that is the look. I'm gonna add some eyeliner, mascara, and then I'm gonna put on those lashes. Fingers crossed. For my waterline, I'm using my Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Storm. Does anyone else find <laughs> lining their waterline sometimes <laughs> extremely painful or is it just me? Next for my uh, top line for my lids, I'm going to use my Clinique liner which I love.
because I'm not doing this at my vanity where I can rest my hand, my eyeliner in the corner came a little bit too thick. But such is life. I still like the look and if anyone's looking that closely, they're a little bit too close. For mascara, I'm going to use the new Superhero mascara that I used the other day. Because I'm putting on lashes, I don't have to go crazy. Okay, I gotta show you this. It's the only thing that I think bothers me. In trying to get the lashes off of the plastic thing, I they were so adhered. Look, I pulled my lashes apart. I took two chunks off. There's still a chunk still stuck to the thing. I don't think I'm very happy with this. Now, this lash is essentially garbage because, look at it. It is, um, yeah, it's ruined. I'm really, really upset about that. Um, not happy with that. This is what they would have looked like. Let me see if I can get the other one off. This one came off a little bit better, but see, I still pulled some hairs out of the corner. I'm really not happy with that. That was a very, very poor execution of putting those lashes in there. I'm still going to put them on. I'm not going anywhere. Well, my friends, this is the eye look. The lashes in this corner will not stick down, which is not a good thing. And I have the half of the lash that's left on this eye. I will be contacting them because that really bothers me. If you're going to sell a product, then make it a proper and good product, in my opinion. Let's try the blush. I do want to add a touch of bronzer, and I'm going to actually use this Pure Palette that we also got in our BoxyCharm. I'm going to try this peachy blush, which is called Flirty. But it does go on beautifully. I'll definitely be reaching for these blushes again. Next I'm going to try their highlighter, which is called Lit. I'm going to use my Morphe brush that didn't work out for me for my eyeshadow, but it sure works out good for highlighter. I'm going to try a fan brush also. It's fairly subtle in real life. Let's try wetting it just a little bit. It's pretty. It's not the blingiest highlight that I've used, but it's pretty. Next, I'm going to try their lip gloss. It is called DIY. It is the fattest little lipstick lip gloss tube that I've ever used. I haven't tried this yet. I like the doe foot applicator. It's got the little hole in the middle. I'm not sure I like the smell of this. It's pretty. It's extremely neutral. It's a peachy, not exceedingly opaque gloss. It might look nice on as a topper on top of a matte lipstick or something. There's nothing wrong with it. There's something wrong with this eyelash, but I like it. So this is the final look. Let me take these off. Not gonna do that whole beauty guru, slow motion lights, sparkling, twinkling, turning my head. Yeah, no. You can you can see the makeup. Basically, in real life, I don't have the best lighting, so you get a good idea of how things actually look without all of the the fluff and the hype behind it. So. I really, really enjoy this kit. I'm really glad that I got it on sale, but I actually would pay the full price for it because I think I'm going to get good use out of everything. I am going to just write them about their eyelashes and let them know that I was very dissatisfied with it because the eyelashes could have been really, really pretty if they hadn't uh, been so hard to get off and pulled apart like that. But I love this. This is a palette that I'm going to be reaching for a lot. I can see me using it for the holidays. Not that I go to any parties, but I get festive around the holidays because Christmas is my favorite time of year. But 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the breakdown of everything and the application and all that. And let me know if you guys have this palette, what you think. Will you go out and get it? I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Much love to you, my friends. And just so you know, I've reached my 500 subscribers. I'm over 500. I'm, I'm literally blown away. I just have to say that. And uh, I am going to be doing my 500 subscriber giveaway very, very soon. Talk to you later. Bye, buddy.